We're taking a look at the Hug Light, H U G, Hug Light from My Light. Pretty innovative light, like some of their others, except it's not like their others, it's a totally different one. So it's basically a snake style light with the flexible uh, runners from the battery compartment. Allows you to wear it around your neck, allows you to uh, wrap it around you know, an object allows you to use it for both reading at night or tasks like changing the tire on a car. Um, really interesting and I like the idea that it's stereo. They call it stereo light so that you get the light coming in from two directions especially for a night job like changing a tire. I can see that that might be pretty handy to uh, not cast a lot of shadows. You know it's easier to find parts that way. It says 40 hour battery life it uses uh, AA bat or AAA batteries, and they include some Duracells here. So you're starting off with some decent ones. Looks like you can go from one, two, three, or four LEDs from spot wide and dual multi beams. It says. It tells us how to install the batteries on the back. Some different ways to use it: the coil, the Cobra, the hook, and the candelabra. Tells you about some of the other lights that we've already reviewed, actually, the clip light and the latch light. Four LEDs on this setup. Two of them are each in each arm. One of them's a spotlight and one of them's a wide angle. Foam covered wire arms that have super flex alloy wire that can bend into any shape. And we're showing it using it here, tasks around the house tasks around the fence I guess and then uh, engine type of repair using it attached to the thing underneath the sink to allow you to uh, uh, work underneath the sink so we're gonna bust into it again it uses the soft sort of clamshell so nothing nothing I can see that allows you to quickly open it but knives do cut through this stuff pretty easily uh, no real danger of cutting yourself I don't think I'd let a kid cut into these though. A little bit too tough for that. Once you've cut it open, the light comes right out. Batteries come out. We've got its instruction manual here. Nice to see that you've got an 800 number. You've got the hours. and You've got the website right there. Again, they just described everything on the packaging, but the information about the light itself. A little more information about the other stuff they sell. And then you've got some tips on using it on a bike. That's interesting. I never would have thought of that. Putting it on your handlebars to shine down from both sides. Wrapping it around a drill to use it as a work light. Pretty good ideas. And then just some maintenance tips. You know, don't throw it in the water, that kind of thing. So, I think that's all we're getting out of there. Move this packaging aside. We'll put that down. So, taking our first look at it, the arms are a little stiffer than I would have thought they were. So that's nice. They definitely will stay in a position you put them. They're foam. That's kind of what I expected, a sort of a closed cell foam. We've got this uh, section here on the back, and this is a soft rubber actually. The battery compartment door is a pretty soft rubber. I would have thought it would just be hard rubber, so I think that actually might be a neat aspect of it. Probably a little comfortable on the neck, but also uh, when you're putting it on other places, probably be a benefit. The uh, battery uh, orientation is embedded into the plastic down there which is handy so nothing no reason to forget which way to put the batteries in locks up nice and tight just like their the balls on their other lights which I was impressed with the quality of the, the ball and the um, when you open up something like this you know it can either be real cheap or real well built and this is definitely some high quality stuff this is that clip light also from my light Okay, so back to the uh, hoog light. You can definitely bend it into whatever position. It looks like it goes from one to the other to both. And each side is individual. There's a button that I'm pushing here. 
and just staring into them a couple of times. I can already tell these are pretty bright lights. Let's go ahead and turn off some other lights here. We didn't turn off all the lights, but that's a bunch of them. And there's our wide angle. And there's the spot. Both. Wide angle. Spot. And both. Wide angle. Spot. And then both. So yeah, you can definitely get some interesting combinations going with this set, I think. So this one will take a little uh, time to run it through its paces, but it, so far it looks like a pretty interesting light. I'd say one drawback is that it doesn't really compact too much. I think this coil that they recommended is about as small as it's going to go. Now you can still use it like this, actually. It's not all that bad. I think for maybe walking the dog and stuff, this might actually be pretty handy. Hands-free light that uh, isn't something that's sitting on your head, like a headlamp. Uh, so if it's something where you know you don't necessarily want to have a light shining out of your forehead, but you do want to light your path, uh, this going around your neck and pointing down, going around your neck, one side pointed up for trees, one side pointed down for walking, I mean, I can really see this thing being handy for that kind of application. Um, again, if you're fishing or if you're in a boat and you're rowing, I can see this, you know, we canoe. So I can see this being handy around the neck again to sort of illuminate the way you're going. But again, when you're fishing, you don't necessarily want that headlamp look, you know, shining a bright light everywhere you look. You scare the fish that way. So this would be uh, more in the direction that your body's sitting and your head could spin and look at whatever it needed to. So I think this could be a pretty useful tool for that application as well. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I can just think of more and more uses for something like this. But um, first impressions are definitely that this is better built than I thought it might be. And uh, again, I'm coming up with so many applications for it here. Uh, can't wait to get it out and take a you know take a really good look at it. So we just wanted to uh, throw the cameras back on. I've been wearing this light around and trying to turn the lights off in the office and just walked around with it a little bit. And you can see that it doesn't really weigh much. It's sticking like no problem on this foam mannequin here. Um, but the just the balance of the AA or the AAA batteries in back here, with the I don't even think the weight, but just the idea of the you know long arms here with the lights in them, just balances great. You don't even realize it's on your neck, and really does light the way well. The buttons uh, are sort of raised from the unit so they're very easy to locate you don't have to look down um, the, the length is just the appropriate length they're not too really too long they're not too short I didn't have any trouble so really for what they're made for which is wearing around the neck like this um, once I wore them a little bit here just in just in a little while here around the office really was impressed with them uh, Definitely, I can see this use being the number one use for them, although those other uses I was coming up with I think are still worthwhile. I can definitely see why this would be a comfortable light, a comfortable way to wear a, a light at night. And uh, again, not need to necessarily announce what you're looking at all the time. Just playing around with ideas again and came up with this, that if you wanted to wear it like more of a traditional headlight, uh, you get the stereo effect. Now I didn't put it on here very secure, but my concept is that you could run it through the loops that they put on a typical boonie hat like this and uh, use these as your headlamps. And uh, you've got the option there then of having a nice wide diffuse beam or if you're doing a task, setting it up to those more powerful head-on beams or if you just want a lot of light, turn it on all four LEDs. Um, the nice thing about it too is that you can take your hat on and off and it stays on like that um, and the other nice thing is like I just showed here you can have just one light on you don't need to have both sides on all the time so you really get the most use out of that two AA ba or two AAA batteries back there uh, it doesn't really weigh much on the hat and probably would work with other hats as well I just happen to have this boonie sitting here and thought about yeah you know, that it would make a pretty effective stereo uh, headlight as well if you were to incorporate it in, onto a hat like that.